Boy, the city of Conway is growing, vastly changing, not just in population, but by attracting new types of businesses like hotels. Ian Klein was at tonight's planning commission meeting, and Ian, part of their job is hearing from these new types of developers while actually staying true to Conway's roots. Yeah, Brian O'Neill has served on the planning commission for six years, and this is his first year as chairman. He says a lot has changed when it comes to the development in Conway, and while they're excited to see this small town grow, they don't want to lose that small town feel that many residents and local business owners have come to know and love. How are we going to, you know, tie the old with the new? Some of it has to do with placement. According to the U.S. Census, Conway's population has grown from 17,000 in 2010 to just under 25,000 by 2020. As more projects are proposed, more community input is needed. Just recently, the Planning Commission opened up their meetings to public comment, allowing those impacted by these future projects to share their concerns. Now we're actually doing the official public um, hearing aspect of that. So we have a lot more people from the public and we have to listen to that. Last spring, Conway City Council unanimously voted in favor of adding a new incentive to attract hotels to the downtown area and throughout the city. O'Neill says part of making these new projects fit in with the city as it is, is making sure the rules and regulations are in place that benefit the new business and longtime residents. We have restrictions right now for the city of Conway. We have 65 feet on hotels, and what we just discussed tonight was 65 feet uh, for apartment buildings. Um, and um, that is kind of like the cap that it's at now, not saying that it could go higher or lower, but you know, our concerns, mostly a lot of it has to do with fire rescue. We have to make sure we have the apparatus to be able to combat something if anything were to happen. We have to take care of the public first. Another topic of discussion this evening, the physical growth of the city. With home prices skyrocketing east of the waterway, buyers are now able to find more affordable homes in Conway and still remain close to the beach, increasing the need for more homes and apartments. A lot has changed. Yeah. I'll tell you, I'll, um, from when I first started, um, it was kind of like approving some of these old plans that were dusted off. And now we're looking at some of these giant developments. I mean, it is, it's night and day from you know, where it was to where it is now. O'Neill says his main goal is to always improve the road structure and making sure that the right infrastructure is in place before approving these larger scale projects. It's worth noting though the items approved and denied by the Planning Commission does not mean that development or project is moving forward or even rejected. They simply offer a recommendation which goes to Conway City Council where they can either officially or approve and deny any future plans or developments. Live in the control room tonight, Ian Klein, WMBF News.